have a wig from So Wigs. So the wig came in this cute little purple bag, which I love, especially when you want to store your wigs and you want to know which company it's from. This is perfect. So here's the wig. This is another U-part wig, and I have a U-part wig from them before that I did a video on, which I absolutely loved, and it was super affordable. So I wanted to try another one, and this is a kinky, curly you part wig so i wanted to show you guys what it looked like before i washed it because i will be co-washing it since it is very very patterned and uniform with the curls so this is 20 inches um, so this is what the lace looks like on the wig when you get it so i'm going to co-wash it first and then i will cut the lace off after it dries so here's the inside we have our combs um there's three combs to secure it um, for the U part section with the braids so you can open it and then close it back and it like snaps so it keeps the wig in place and there's a comb on the side and in the back as well as adjustable straps on here. So I'm going to go ahead and co-wash this. Alright so I'm going to be using this Herbal Essences shampoo and I love this. It's the Potent Aloe and Mango and it's a curl definer, conditioner, I did not mean to say shampoo this is a conditioner and i love it. it smells so so good so i'm gonna go ahead and go wash it okay so here is my braid i have in the middle so i'm just gonna take the wig and i'm going to also on the sides you guys not focusing on the sides I just have like two big braids going down because I really can't braid sideways so I'm just gonna stick the clip in and snap it and it's probably best if you do um, have like smaller braids but I just did these big braids for now so you snap it in just like that and then you have your hair left out and you're going to cover your hair with your leave. All right, so I have the wig on. And now what I'm going to do is oh, hair in my face. I'm going to part it down the middle. I really, well, I kind of made a part already. I hope this is a correct part because I do not have a mirror in front of me. Oh, my goodness. We're going to blend this today without using heat. Here's my hair up here. Um, and my hair was just in like a I think it was in a bun or braids or something I don't know I just took it out and it looks like this so I'm gonna see if I can blend it with this hair because this hair is very very kinky I have not um done anything to it except wash it and let it air dry so this is very kinky hair and I think you, you can get away with it by just kind of wetting your hair and putting gel on it to go with this hair so we're gonna see okay all right if you see i don't know if this is like white flakes in my hair or just that my hair is kind of shiny but uh, my hair is pretty clean it might have been the brush i used if anything all right so i have it parted down the middle so i'm going to be taking my spray bottle right here and i'm going to spray this part of my hair that i have hair left out um, I'm kind of going to grab like a little section right here and focus on that, spraying it together. So after I spray that, I'm just going to smooth my hands through it like this. I don't know if I really want to comb it or use a diamond brush for it. I'm just going to smooth it. And now I'm going to use my Camille Rose curling custard right that worked out very nicely okay so i'm gonna use this camille rose if my camera will focus thank you camera this camille rose curl maker um it actually comes with like a pump top but it was broken when i got it in the mail i got it on amazon so if you guys do get this i recommend you getting it from like the store they were all sold at sold out at target I will recommend getting it from the store because the reviews say they the pump's been like broken on them so 
I'm just gonna take a little bit of amount because this stuff is pretty thick. Run it through my hands and we are going to focus on this part right here. And I am going to take my dimming brush after I smooth this out and I'm just going to brush it in. I had to grab it real quick. So I'm just going to take it and brush to where my hair stops. I don't really feel like going all the way down with it. So I'm just going to do that. All right. So we're going to let that sit for a second and I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I definitely, since I'm not looking in the mirror, forgot this front part of my hair, but that's okay. Just did that real quick. All right. So I'm going to take my water bottle again and grab a section. Y'all, this is so hard to do. Like when you don't have a mirror in front of you. All right, I think I grabbed everything over here. Yeah. All right, we are going to spray it again. All right, you guys, so this is the final look of my hair. Um, I was so happy I did not have to put any heat on this hair whatsoever. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys the details about this hair and other ways you can blend your hair to match this kinky curly wig okay so this wig is 130 percent density it's a brazilian u part jerry curl human hair 20 inch wig um so yeah i have a coupon code md10 for ten dollars off of your wig and this wig was pretty affordable um, I have another wig from Sew Wigs. That's a U-part wig that looks so beautiful that I did a video on, let's say like two months ago. And I'll post that below so you guys can check that one out. That one is a, I think it was like a deep wave wig. The curl pattern was much looser, but it was really, really pretty and I love it. So yeah, I'll leave that below so you can check it out. Um, but yeah, y'all, this hair is very, very kinky, okay? So if you want some kinky hair, this is the hair to get. It is very kinky and it is very easy to blend with the natural hair. If you don't want to put any heat on it, you just want to, you know, rock it in a kinky curly style. Or you can even probably comb it out and have this big fro so the way i blended it today was just using water and some hair gel and that's really it and let it air dry um yeah so my hair in the front is a little well a lot of it shorter than this hair so this is 20 inches i know my hair in the front is much shorter anyway than like the hair in the back of my head and stuff so when I did blend it, I had to make sure I used like a gel and the brush to put the curls together. They also sent this cute little um, hairpin, which I cannot open right now, of course. Uh, but it's those cute ones that you can get at like the beauty supply store. Here it goes. So it says girls on it. It's so cute. So like if your hair isn't long enough and it's too short for it to blend, or whatever you can always put like a pin in it do like braids going to the side put in the pin in it'll be super super cute okay all right awesome. and also uh, two other ways you can blend the hair um first way of course is just wetting your natural hair if you do have natural hair and it matches this pattern you could just wet it and put gel on it and blend it um another heatless way is using these curling wands not curling wands curling rods these are little perm rods and I always use this size. I forgot what size it is, but it's the small, I probably think this is the smallest blue one that they have. Um, it's tiny. I don't know the dimensions of it, but this is perfect for a kinky curly hair. Every time I have kinky curly hair, I would use this one. So the night before, you can just take your leave out and put these in. And then it will blend in with the rest of this hair if you just comb it out a little bit. And then I also have this curling wand right here. This is the smallest curling wand. I believe this is like an 18 millimeter, I think. I'm not sure. But I had it forever. So I use this when I have tighter curly 
hairstyles to blend my hair with. So yeah, you guys, I think this hair is so beautiful and I love it. It's very, very kinky. So just be prepared. Um, if you do get it, make sure that you co-wash it. Make sure the hair is moisturized because you know kinky. Curly hair it needs to be moisturized a whole lot. Um, but this definitely resembles like my natural hair, but longer basically. So as a reminder, since it is kinky curly hair, um, just remember that the ends are going to be very, very kinky um, and resemble like natural hair in its natural state or even like in its blown out state. So please remember that the ends are not dry. The hair feels very, very soft and moisturized. Um, it just has the kinky, curly look to it. So yeah, overall, I love this hair so much. I didn't have any issues with it. It's very low maintenance. Um, if you don't want to use heat on your hair, I highly recommend it. It blends so nicely with natural hair. As you can see, it looks amazing. So I'm going to leave all the info below. Remember, this wig is from Sew Wigs. I'll also leave the link to the last U Part wig video. And also, mind you, these wigs are super affordable. Super, super affordable, you guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.